Great to see you. Great to meet so you. Nice to meet you too. And I have to ask you, what did you know about boxing before you got involved in this movie? Really, not nothing at all. In fact, I, I didn't really have much respect for the sport, mostly because, well, I shouldn't say I didn't have respect. I just didn't understand it, and it can be very bloody and brute, and so it was something that sort of intimidated me. Um, but getting to know the real life boxers that work in the film like Tony Bellew and Andre Ward and Gabe Rosario and getting behind their narratives. I mean, so many boxers are family men um, and there's something about the sport, the camaraderie of it that became really beautiful to me. And once I understood the sport, I just was obsessed with taking in as much boxing as I could. I went to a bunch of boxing matches here in Philadelphia and um, now I'm really, I'm a big fan. So by the time we got to the scenes where I'm ringside, I had an incredible affinity for, for the sport. That's great. That's terrific. Well, and of course, what's it like to you know join this incredible franchise, the Rocky franchise, with the film Creed? Yeah, I mean, it's such an iconic um, American story. It's arguably, I think, Rocky won the, the, best, the best storytelling about the underdog, the tale of the underdog. Um, about love, about perseverance, about self-determination. So joining something like that is incredible. And to work with Ryan Coogler, to me, it's, it's two things. You get to join this iconic franchise in a way, a reimagining of it, and then to work with a, a really exciting new voice of his generation and the next Ryan Coogler movie. So I was sort of sold from the beginning. And of course, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, to meet him, to work with him, to be in this amazing film, uh, that must have been quite an experience. It was, and you know, he's such a cinephile, so he knows so much about film history. And of course, he's such a, a huge part of it. And he is so different than the Rocky that he's created. It's this character that you just sort of assume is going to walk into the room, and instead in walks Sylvester Stallone. And then to get to see him put on this Rocky, this character that he just loves playing, um, is, is just exquisite. And then also to see the bravery that he had with taking Rocky into a new space and a vulnerable space that we haven't seen him yet. So I'm so excited for Rocky fans that have followed the trajectory of his story and I'm excited for a new generation that aren't familiar with Rocky. I think that after seeing Creed, hopefully they'll be inclined to go back and sort of, you know, see his story unfold. Yeah, it's great because you don't have to have seen the earlier ones, although it does Not help, at all. Course. Yeah, I mean, there's sort of jokes that you'll have an, an extra sort of giggle at if you are familiar with the Rocky movies. We pay, you know, homage to it in some moments, but I think it really is a new, a new, a new story that you don't have to be familiar with Rocky at all to enjoy. Exactly. Also, you're very convincing as Bianca. Thanks. Uh, the music aspect of it, the singing. Uh, talk about that a little bit because, uh, you know, is that sort of a new thing for you? I, sort of. I mean, I've, yeah, I'm sort of a hobbyist. I come from a musical family. Um, I sang, sang in a band for a couple of years just for fun, but writing music was certainly something that was new to me. But I was lucky because we have an incredible composer who's also a, you know, he produces records in general. His name is Ludwig Gorson. So he worked closely with me, and it was a unique challenge. Ryan Coogler is someone that really loves authenticity. So for him, whoever was going to play Bianca was going to write the music, and I'm just so glad that it got to be me. Oh, that's so You did a great job Thank with it. Thank you so much. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> um, you know, there's so much to talk about here. Uh, first of all, he, the two of you is actor and actress. Right. But also the relationship between Adonis and Bianca. Uh, very complicated, very interesting. We were excited to tell a story about what millennial love looks like, that you have these two people that really feel for each other but also are, you know, really after dreams that at various moments seem impossible to them and what that looks like, how you navigate um, love and friendship and family and also trying to pursue something. And so we thought that that was something that young people could really relate to. And I think so often you get to see sort of the girlfriend, sports wife character as someone that exists just to hold the male character up. And I think in this movie you get to see, hopefully, if we did our job right, uh, the portrayal of a, of a woman who has her, her own life, her own dreams. And I'm, I'm hoping that that's something that, that women can really get behind and relate to. And it will be an anchor for them in, in what is otherwise, you think, might be just a, a very testosterone-driven movie. <laughs> I, in fact, uh, Sylvester 
Bridget. And I just love the Adrian in the original Rocky movie, so it was fun to get to play sort of an Adrian 2015 and what that looks like. You added estrogen in a terrific way in this film, let me tell <laughs> Thank you, my you. dear. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. Um, Philadelphia, you said this yesterday, Philadelphia is sort of a character, obviously, it in really this. Is. And from your standpoint, what was that like? I mean, it was incredible because I, I got to spend two months in Philly just getting to know the city. I had not set foot here before I made the film, and it's an incredible city with just really kind people. Um, and, and sort of feels like the backbone of America in a lot of ways. And I think for us, Creed was an opportunity to show another side of Philly that you haven't maybe seen in, in the previous Rocky movies. And then the enthusiasm from people here in Philadelphia, just little things. I mean, there's a sequence in the film, I don't want to give it away, but when Philadelphians saw that sequence, they were so excited because they felt like we were really portraying their city in such an honest way. Um, so I think people that aren't familiar with Philly will get to see a side of it that, that they'll be really interested in. Absolutely.